So the first one, when you're just starting out and you're dealing with like the bucket of uncertainty that is being an entrepreneur and getting started, it's you want to latch on to things that you've seen before. But we really quickly learned that you just cannot really learn to be an entrepreneur from a book, a blog, or a talk. And it turns out that a day on the job was worth a year of experience. And what happens is the collection of experiences and knowledge you can get from those sources is super important. And I'm not like dismissing them entirely as something that you should get to or just ignore. But that first day when you're starting to make those decisions where the data isn't really there and there hasn't been a blog post posted to Hacker News that was like deciding what to do on the first day of your startup or making this really tough decision. It turns out a lot of it is very specific to your situation. And all you can really learn to do beforehand is try to deal with that uncertainty. So making snap decisions or quick decisions in the face of a lot of uncertainty. So we'll, have, we'll hit up on situations early on where we weren't sure if we were going to take Instagram, a follow model, for example, like Twitter, or more like friendship, like Facebook. And there's just no blog, book, or talk that we could have ever really seen beforehand that would have taught us to do either of those things. So instead, it was about sitting down and saying, well, what do we know beforehand? What does our gut tell us? And trusting your gut is, I think, a theme of, of this talk. Um, and so developing a better gut is the, the work you can invest in beforehand. And then saying, all right, let's invest in this. Let's stay the course for a while and really like see it through, rather than wavering for months at a time, being like, uh, why don't we build both and like we'll switch off, and maybe have like a little like, maybe make it a preference, like worst mistake ever, right? Is to like, give up on making that decision and instead making it a preference. Um, and so on and so forth, where you're having these micro decisions that in the end sum up to what becomes your product, basically. Um, and we really rapidly found that as tempting it is to go like search off for you know, private prior accounts of something similar, that snap decision is what makes a difference. But what you can be doing is doing quick projects, side projects during school, even when you're outside, when you're doing a job. Um, and most of what we learned and applied into our startup were things that we were doing on the weekends, um, which, you know, depending on the company, is either something encouraged or discouraged. But usually, if you're excited enough about something, you will find the time uh, to work about it, to work in it. The other thing is, once you do start a startup, it's super tempting to get caught up in the meta part of doing a startup. So going to entrepreneurship events and being like, yes, like I want to talk about being an entrepreneur. Like going, like there's, we were incubated at Dogpatch Labs, which was a great experience. We were surrounded by 30 startups, a rotating cast. We were there for probably longer than anybody too else. Too long. <laughs> so like we saw three or four different classes of startups go through that. And the successful ones were the ones that were in at 9 AM and left at 10 or 11 PM and were just like, putting in the work, and not the ones that showed up at 10, like hung around, left at 6, who, like, in my opinion, were doing a startup as a lifestyle choice because they didn't want a boss. Like, that's not really a good enough reason to do a startup. It should be that you wake up and you're obsessed with this idea and you want to make it happen, and you're not there to like hang around in like this club or like have this like fun chat with people. And that distinction wasn't that apparent to me day one because everybody's doing a startup. This should be a thing. And then, one month in, people are like, you guys work really hard. Like, we kept hearing that comment at Dogpatch. And like, we weren't. We were working like, the hours that we felt we wanted to, to like, throw into this startup. Um, and I guess it's a gut check if you're finding yourself like, getting drawn into the meta part of the startup of like, being an entrepreneur and being really excited about it. Somebody said to us earlier, a phrase I like, it's like, you can't call yourself an entrepreneur. Somebody has to call you an entrepreneur in a way. And it's, it's true. Like, it, it's very tempting to get caught up in that. Um, and I would encourage you to like step back a little bit and like find out the only thing that ships products and the only thing ultimately end users care about is the product you deliver to them, not like how they talk about you in TechCrunch or exactly who your investors were or which events you attended.